tip that I've been doing for years and I've never seen anyone else do it. Um, so people always ask me, you know, how do they get the air bubble, you know, as clean as possible, as factory as possible without the edge. And a lot of the time, you know, that if you pay attention to air bubbles, even from the factory, they're not perfect. But the problem is when you go to color swap it, you have to make sure that it is all removed or it's completely covered by the new color. And so on this Air Jordan 4, I'm gonna be yellowing out the midsole, giving it the 89 OG look. Um, this is a personal pair. I like the look a lot better. Um, but here's my trick to air bubbles. So on my vinyl machine, I cut out these stencils and yes, I have them for every single size already measured out. And basically what I'm going to do is lay it in there like so. Now sometimes these shoes can be staticky, causing a little bit of problem to get this to go in straight. But to me, this is still a lot easier than trying to fold tape or roll tape and get it tucked inside there. And then I just hit it with a little bit of heat and it will sit right in there in that air bubble. That way when I go to paint this, I can go ahead and not have to worry about any paint leaking inside of there. All right, on my next step, I'm gonna be using Angelus D Glazer to go ahead and remove the top coat off of this shoe. Um, I used Angelus vinyl red tape and just some masking tape to do, to tape off the midsole. So now all I'm gonna do is take this. I don't wanna soak it too much, guys. Uh, what will happen is your midsole will soak up a lot of this uh, deglazer um, or acetone, whatever you use. You know I do not condone to using acetone. Um, what it will happen is the midsole will start to swell and then you're gonna to have to wait until that swelling goes away, basically just waiting for that to evaporate and the midsole going back to shape. Now I'm just taking the top layer off because there's nothing wrong with this paint. I'm just uh, simply changing the color. Um, usually if this was a, a, a repaint because of a cracked sole, you would have to take it all the way down completely. Um, so I'm just taking a majority of this off. As you can see, majority of the white off. And then I'm gonna use a Q-tip to get inside the air unit. So, take this applicator pad and go ahead and get a little bit more down in here. All right. All right. Now that I got all of that off um, that I needed to, the next step I'm gonna do guys, and just a precaution, what I do is I ended up taking some tape and rolling it up like this. And I'm going to go ahead and almost treat this like it's fabric and I'm delinking it. Um, I have a hard time uh, with colors, seeing colors and whatnot, and lint is definitely one of them, especially when it's white on white or anything like that. So it's usually hard to see the lint until you paint it, and by then it's too late, and then you gotta reprep it and start all over. So what I like to do is just go ahead and take some tape and almost de-lint this. Get all the lint out of there. Uh, you never know, it comes off the applicator pad. Um, Angela's applicator pads are absolutely amazing, um, but if you do use them, for a little bit too long and don't switch it out, it will start to break down. Uh, but they are definitely the best that I've ever used. And with that being said, the next step, I go ahead and prep this. This is called Bulldog. You can get this at any uh, auto parts paint supply. And I'm gonna do two light coats. And this is a micro sprayer. So it does sound and look like I'm spraying quite a bit, but it does not out a lot and I'm just gonna let that dry for about uh, three minutes then I'm gonna put another coat another light coat and let that dry for about seven minutes 
and then it will be ready for paint. All right, guys, I got them completely sprayed down two coats. They look great. Um, if you notice, it does leave a lot, of, a, a little bit of sheen to it. Um, that's how you know it's completely covered. Um, you can see the dull spots if you haven't covered the shoe completely. Um, okay, guys, and I am going for the original OG yellowing on the bottom. Now, uh, to most people, it just looks just like a yellow, almost like a vanilla, but that is the wrong color. Um, I don't like the vanilla color just because it looks like someone tried to age it and it didn't age properly. Um, but if you pay attention to the OGs, they have almost an orange tint to them. Now, if you get a really rotted out OG pair of 89 Fire Reds, they are super orange. They are almost more of this color. Um, super, super dry rotted and dried out. I am not going to go that crazy. Um, but this does look yellow, but I went ahead and mixed two drops with about, mm, I would say, I mean, I poured about... I mean, 90% of this is, is vanilla. I added two drops of this. So guys, use it sparingly. You only need a couple drops. I used the Angelus Maze and mixed it with the Angelus Vanilla. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dilute it down and put it into my airbrush gun. And I'm gonna go ahead and dilute that now. Um, I would recommend diluting it with rubbing alcohol or and it has to be 70% rubbing alcohol or Angelus is too thin, um, your choice. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dilute this down and make it runnier. Um, that way it sprays on nice and thin. Um, I'm, I don't need to do a, th a thick coat um, because like I said, I didn't take that paint all the way down because it's brand new paint. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not cracking. So I didn't need to take it all the way down. It has a great bond. So I just need to remove that top coat of clear. So this paint can now bond to the white that's on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying that guys. I'll be back. All right, got my gun loaded up. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna set my heat gun to about 690 and keep it at like two, three foot, about a foot distance. And I'm only spraying a little bit out of my airbrush gun. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying this. And guys, I'm just looking for a slight change. I'm not looking for nothing crazy. Um, don't need to pack on a lot of paint. Just nice thin coats. Um, you're gonna have to hit this from two different angles, almost from an upside down. Of you to get underneath that ledge because on the fours there is a lip and then you're also going to want to make sure that you get all the way inside the air bubble and this is only going to take about one light coat of this yellow let that dry and then what I'm gonna do is hold the shoe upside down and I'll show you exactly what I mean this is probably fairly dry right now I notice when I do mix it with rubbing alcohol it does dry a lot quicker and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this upside down and you can see um, next to the red tape that there is um, some white that did not get sprayed so that's why you need to shoot it from two angles Make sure that you get all the way in your air bubbles in the corners up above. Uh, spray it really good. And go ahead and let that dry. I'm gonna let that go ahead and sit for a few minutes and I'll be back. All right, let me go ahead and show you why I use Angelus's red vinyl tape. Comes out perfect every time. Let me go ahead and remove these. That's all it is, just your vinyl tape. All right, guys, 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of this off and get it ready for clear coat. I'll be back. All right, now that I got all the tape off, they came out beautiful, super, super clean. No overspray, guys, and prepping is the main key with these. Take your time taping. That way you don't have to do anything once you take the tape off. Now I went ahead and filled up the air bubbles again with my vinyl stickers. And I am going to lightly coat this. And I'm going to use be using Angelus Matte Finish. Uh, make sure you shake up the bottom very well. It does settle at the bottom. Give it a shake for a couple minutes and it will clear out. Um, now, I'm not going for a matte look. Of course, if you've seen my videos on my Angelus finishers, I only use matte finish unless I'm painting Jordan 11s. I need that glossy look. I can get four different shades on this shoe, and I want this factory sheen to be on here as well. So what I'm going to do is let that uh, matte finish sit on here for about five seconds before I start to blow dry it or hit it with the heat gun. And that will give me that, uh, that satin sheen, that factory sheen that came on these. Um, again, because I do not want to mat this out. I cover the air bubbles just because I do not want them coated with clear coat because they do get foggy and I do not want to run a Q-tip in there to clean them out. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that, guys. I have my matte finish loaded up. My, air, my heat gun set on about 690. And like I said, I'm going to just lightly coat this. Let it sit for about seven seconds and then hit it with the heat gun because I do not want a matte look. I need to keep that factory sheen. So I'm gonna hold this back here and slowly dry it. I don't wanna to dry too fast. If it dries super quick, it's gonna come out super matte. So I'm just gonna take my time. I'm gonna put about two coats. I'm gonna slowly dry this. Cause like I said, the last thing I wanna do is completely mat that out. Let that dry. Then I'm gonna go ahead and remove my air bubble covers. And there it is. Completely clean air bubbles, factory swapped, just got rid of that white and went to the orange and yellow look. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this other side real quick. And I'm not coating it on too heavy because um, it doesn't need a heavy coat. It's just a light coat to protect it as I'm wearing it. And when you go to clean it, you wanna make sure that is nice and sealed. And then a second coat, make sure you get the top of that air bubble on the inside. You're getting underneath this lip. Make sure it's completely dry before you Handle it. I'm going to go ahead and remove the air unit covers. Again, perfect air units. No overspray from the clear coat because clear coat will fog them up. But there they are, guys. Again, this isn't for everyone. Um, I noticed this being a trend with either the really young guys just getting into the game or the guys that have been in the game for since these shoes came out. And I just love the age look, love the Nike heel tabs. And so this is what I like. It's not for everybody, but hope it gives somebody some pointers if they want to do their own. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you as always. And stay tuned for more tips.